Hey, I'm Morgan Brandy, and this is Rversity, a university for RVers. And this is my series about how I eat, sleep, shower, and essentially in my RV. So this is my Winnebago Era. This is a 170M. In this video, I'm going to show you how I actually sleep in my RV. So we're sitting where my bed is right now. I'm going to show you how I actually put my bed down. The first thing that I normally will do is make sure that I've moved off this cushion. I'll show you kind of like what this looks like too. So you can see this is my bed. And what I have to do is I take this off, I make sure like the floor is clear, then I'll have to lift this up right here. So I just lift this up. Then after I've made sure like the floor is clear and that this bed is here, this is my table, so essentially my table would normally go in this hole down here, but I use it for my bed as well. So my couch turns into my bed, and this is kind of like my dining room too. So I have these buttons here, or I also have a control panel inside of here, and this is a bed raise and lower, and actually, before I forget, there's a little button that I have to push on the side of this that makes this go in, so you can kind of see this bed going in. But what it does is it just gives room for this to lay down. So I have to make sure that this is all the way extended so that there's some room here so that those can fold down. So see, these are my, these are my bed raise and bed lower buttons. And then if I want to extend the bed, I have these buttons to extend. And then, if I want, I can actually use this control panel to do the same thing. So this has to do with the sofa where I can extend or retract. And then this has to do with the bed where I can lower it or, higher, or raise it. So there's a couple different places I can go to do that. And all of that runs off of my solar panel and my battery power. So another thing that I have to keep in mind is how much battery I use during the day. So like my battery's kind of dying because overnight I've used a lot of the power. So my solar panel's charging, the sun's starting to come back up, as you can see. And so my solar panel's gonna start charging this battery back up. So I take off my couch cushion. I've extended this out, I pop these up, and then I'll hit my button to lower my bed. And so now, my bed is lowered. So, this is pretty much how I sleep in my RV, or how my bed goes down, and it's the same process for putting it back up, I just raise it back up but I'm gonna show you some parts of here. So you can see, um, this is just like my sheets and stuff. And then I have some cabinets up here. So these are just some extra storage. I keep like books, things like that over here. Um, the kind of downside to this is once this bed is up, I can't access this stuff. So that's something to think about. But I kept my pillows here. And then I do have some really cool cubby storage here. So I can um, get into here and get my blankets and stuff. So I keep my blankets and things like that inside here. And then the other things you can see back here are, I have chargers so I can plug up my cell phone and charge it. And the um, really cool thing is I have these little cubbies. So you can see I have this chargers to charge and I have these cubbies. And then also I have these lights so I can turn them blue I can make them white I can turn them off same thing over here and then also the really cool thing about my unit is like say the lights are on like right now the lights are on I can hit this button like say I have the bed light on and then I'm like oh I forgot to turn the bathroom light off I can hit this button right here and it's gonna watch the lights go off see all the lights in the RV go off so it's pretty cool to hit this little master light button. If I wanna look out 
and see what's going on. So there's Moon and Bob over there. They're sleeping. And then I keep this in my windows. Like I've mentioned in some other videos, you can watch how I stay cool is I keep this in my window. So I do give up a little bit of view when I keep that in my window, but it's really pretty much my bed and how I sleep in my RV. I get a lot of questions about how it's different than the house. And really sleeping, I don't want to say, is really that much different than the house. I mean, you have to think about air conditioning. The one thing that I do think is a little bit of a flaw in here is you can see my air conditioning unit is up here. And the bed where you sleep is kind of in this cave. So when you're sleeping back here, you don't really get that airflow. Um, but I do have this vent, so if I wanted to open this window up here, I could, but if it's hot outside, you really don't want to get heat in here. But I can open this window if I want to get a little bit of air. But that's pretty much how I sleep in my RV. I'm vlogging Brandy. This is our varsity, and this is my Winnebago era. 170 m 2018. It has flaws. It has upsides. This one I do like over my 170C that I had, so it's pretty much the same setup, and that's the one that I've kind of shown you on a tour. If you haven't checked out those tours, link below the video. This one has this Murphy bed, which is awesome, so it folds up and down. My other one, you actually like had to pull the bed out of the couch. So in the 170C, somebody was asking me about that not too long ago. I actually have to pull the bed out of the couch, and that was a nightmare, and it was not as comfortable. So this is like one flat surface, and it has a little bit kind of more storage. The downside is you can't get to certain things. So there's goods and bads to both. Make sure to subscribe for good vibes. If you haven't already, this is my series about how I eat, sleep, shower, and pretty much in my RV. This is our varsity. Make sure to stay tuned until the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.